A very common scenario is that you want to extract large volumes of historical data using supermetrics. Let's take a look at how you can optimize your queries and work around the data source limitations. For example, you might run into a problem that certain data sources only allow you to extract six-month date ranges at a time, or your query has become so heavy that the refresh is time out. Let's have a look at a scenario where you want to extract data starting from the beginning of 2022 and have it update until a dynamic end date of yesterday on a daily basis. To cover this, you could set a static date of 1st of January 2022 and input yesterday as the end date. You then need to set up a daily trigger to automate your refreshes. Now you have both historical data and an automatically refresh inquiry. This type of setup is, however, rather inefficient. Every time the query refreshes, you are requesting at least one full year's worth of data from the data source. When you are fetching data from several accounts and breaking it down by multiple dimensions, the query takes longer to process. If the historical data no longer changes, you wouldn't need to query from the data source every single day. It would be sufficient to query that data only once and keep it stored for future reference. The storing of results is made possible by an option in the Supermetric sidebar called Combine Your Results with Old. Options are listed at the bottom of a query's configuration window in the Supermetric sidebar. When you hover over this option, you can see a short description of what it does in the tooltip. With the setting, when the query is refreshed, you can preserve your existing results and add new ones. There is also a link to a support article with further instructions in case you need more guidance. Let's imagine that a particular data source has the limitation that you can only extract six months worth of data at a time. You'll select a start date as the 1st of January 2022 and an end date as the 1st of July 2022. In this query, you have selected your date range, metrics, and dimensions. There are no options or filters selected yet. After successfully running this query once, I will go ahead and enable the option Combine your results with old. The next thing I'll have to do is to define our new date range. Let's take the next half year by changing our start date to the 1st of July 2022 and the end date to the 1st of January 2023. After hitting Apply Changes and letting the query run, you can now see that the option did exactly what its description says. Historical data from before our currently selected date range remains intact, and the new range of data was appended to the data set. Let's do one more backfill before setting up the final refresh window. I will choose the 1st of January 2023 as my start date and yesterday as my end date now. After applying changes, I will confirm the resulting data looks correct and proceed with defining my final refresh window. It is important to select a big enough window here to cover a conversion window if there is one. Let's select minus three days as our start date and yesterday as our end date. This means that with every trigger run, the past three days will now be refreshed. This is a lot more efficient than acquiring the constantly expanding range of at least a full year. To summarize, these are the steps you need to take to optimize your queries with the option Combine your results with old. Number one, define the date range for your first data extraction depending on your data volumes and or data source limitations. In my example, it was a period from the 1st of January 2022 to the 1st of July, 2022. Number two, enable the option combine your results with old and define the date range for your second data extraction. In my example, it was a period from the 1st of July, 2022 to 
the 1st of January, 2023. Number three, with the option combine your results with old still selected, define the date range for your final data extraction up until today or yesterday. For example, from the 1st of January, 2023 until yesterday. Number four, with the option combine your results with old still selected, define a dynamic date range or refresh window for any future acquiry runs. Example, minus three days until yesterday. And this completes our Supermetrics for Google Sheets onboarding course. Thank you for joining. You have learned how to build and manage queries using Supermetrics sidebar in Google Sheets. You now also know how to get historical data, schedule automated refreshes, and optimize your queries. Happy Google Sheets reporting.